home to every night and when it's cold you warm up to and it's hot you mm. put a fan between when you hear <laughs> you know, some, eh? you, you know it, it's, it's quenched it's, and And now for our featured presentation. Hi, Ron. Welcome to another conversation with Liz. Conversation with Liz. Um, we are back. Um, is we weren't here last week. We didn't have our life. Life happens, guys. But we are back. Um, so we, we still try to do what we say we're going to do. But as I say, life happens. Um, so we're here and we're gone away. Yes, so you see the topic, um, we're going to be looking at 10 things and I, I know this 10 is not like the all in all, but we found these 10 things and we're going to explore them um, as to what, will, what really makes a great marriage. Um, of course, we encourage you to, to share your comments. A lot of you are not talking, all right? but guys, share your comments, man. Tell us what you think. Um, if the 10... Um, things that we I like are 10 things that you would agree to. Of course, give a thumbs up um, on the video and of course say if you have an 11 or a 12 or a 13 something. You understand me? And if you like what you, you like, the, the 10, you can always indicate, say, yeah man, those 10 so nice. You understand me? We want it to be interactive. So as we, you know, take the time to make these videos, it is good to hear from you. You understand me? So we look forward to hearing from you. So again, if you're here for the first time, please consider subscribing. Um, get us to 1k if you know what is, yeah. then we go further. Then we continue. continue moving forward, of course. Just before we get into the video, we also want to just say that you know, we really pray and hope that what we are, you know, what we put together is helping somebody. I think if we help one somebody, it it does it's just nice, it does make our day. You know that boy, it is not in vain. Yes, because sometimes persons are going through situations, and you just need some a word in time that will just address a particular situation. And if you're not yet married, because this one is going to be mainly for couples. Yeah. And if you're not, but if you're not married, you can also look at these ten things and and see how you can construct your your relationship. You know, going forward in a particular manner that will bring you to success. Yes. So without any further ado. We're going to look at 10 things. The, well, this, this um, post says the top 10 secrets for a really great marriage. I like number one. Yeah. Number one says laugh together. Even when it hurts, laughter in the face of adversity is the finest sound there is. Yeah. I agree. Um, the, well, they say in the face of adversity, so it, does, it, does it, sound, it doesn't sound as if you're saying, but they say even though it hurts, like it's about where the both of us are hurting each other because sometimes teeth and tongue meet and people say things that they really mean to say, and it's after them don't say them, so oh, I never really meant it that way or whatever. Um, but this is saying that. You know, laughter in the face of adversity is the finest sound there is. I totally agree. Yeah. And let me tell you why I agree. For those who know us, they would have, who are close to us, our journey has not been um, the smoothest in terms of especially finances. Um, but we have, so we have had some rocky times and we have fi found ourselves looking at each other and literally laughing about it like we're not sure how something going to turn out or maybe how the bill will be because they were time when i was working and michelle um she's the best seamstress around um however you know it wasn't putting as much money to do everything i wanted to do and so we never know what to do we just 
pray and leave it. I will find the answer that points. Just laugh and say, well, God, this is one more for you. <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, that's what we did. Um, I agree with that. Laughing in face of adversity because so, it, helps to, it yeah. helps to stay positive. You know, it's good to smile even though you face misfortunes. And it may not be easy all the time, but it helps. Because in staying positive, you think about the things that you have to be grateful for. And that will give you a clear mind to be able to work out and, whatever and, and, the misfortunes are. And positive thinking brings smiles, it brings laughter, and it brings hope. So, yeah. And good health. Yeah. And that's how we look so young still. <laughs> we have been told. Um, number two, don't ever stop dating your wife and don't ever stop flirting with your husband I agree that when last we date you? there's dating and there's, there's dating. dating yeah but the real yeah, dating yeah I don't, I don't I don't get sorry the real dating yeah I would say the real dating like the question that you asked when last you know, when do last have we gone somewhere apart from Mother's Day and mm. those things I haven't been able to you know. yeah yeah. Mother's Day and wasn't bad though, but the kids were there. Yeah, yeah. So we have not, well, most of our dating is in our bedroom. Because we do, based on, it is mainly based on finan financial wise. Really and take your mind out of the gutter. Not because we say in our bedroom, it don't mean that he's saying he dates me to, by knowing me. Yeah, no, it's. Alone. They, time. Alone time, and there and they have been reasoning going on until hours in the morning. Yeah. yeah, watching maybe a video or something. Yeah, um, yeah, we, we have different tastes in movie, but I think what you have some movie where men are can watch like a um, what the name the wolf movie there. Okay, Twilight. Twilight, yeah. <laughs> I like that wolf movie. Eh? Yeah. But, and uh, I don't mind The Matrix, which is their mm -hmm. signature movie. Mm -hmm. And um, some romantic comedies. Yeah, love romantic comedies. And the ones that you love, like Bare Face and mm -hmm. where the comedy is. Mm -hmm. And Knocked Up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And like Seinfeld. Yeah. yeah. King of Queens. Right. Friends. So I, and all of my. And all of my brothers in my work nice. sometimes tell so, uh, say me love watch Friends. So it's what? It's nice, Friends. It's I, timeless. I just, guys, I believe in just enjoying this journey. Yeah. Even when you have adversity facing you. You just have to find something. To distract. So to, not, not to, I wouldn't say be distracting them. Find something to, to appreciate. Find something to, to, to smile about. Yeah. There's enough to, to not make you smile so well. Find something. Yeah, make you stay yeah. joyful and positive. Yeah. So, Talk everything. so number two says don't ever stop dating your wife and don't ever stop flirting with your husband yeah. I want some more flirtation so more flirtation I mean that can happen there, there are times mommy you do it you know yeah. I'm not going to deny that but, that's true you know there, and I touch it touch it yeah. at times and there are times when you accuse me of of, tea, of being Provocating when sometimes and maybe sometimes I'm not. Yeah, well, that I think I think that's the part. And then you'll have sorry. I'm going. You'll have to be here for it to happen more regularly. Yeah, sure, yeah, work yeah, right. Number three, happiness is a choice. Choose it, and you oh, will yes. both live a life of bliss, no matter what storm may come. Mm -hmm. So let me read that. That's long and but it's, it's I, I deep. Agree. Happiness is a choice. They start there, so I agree. It's Happen a choice. Yes, it's a choice, and I agree because there are things that will cause us from time to time to be angry, to get upset. But the thing is to change, allow yourself to this, to change your thoughts instead of embracing it. Change. The whole thought and and and, the, and 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 what the significant part of this is it's a choice yeah it's a so choice. you can choose, choose to be happy and so the, this quotation says choose it mm -hmm. and you both will live a life of bliss no matter what storms make storms may come right now I think yes what is it 
irrespective of the storm, if you choose to be happy, you both can live a blissful life. I agree. And I agree. I agree. So, choosing to be happy, of course, most of the time, it, it, what would you say? No, it doesn't happen automatically by practicing it. You understand? You, you practice to what someone would say, you choose your battles. Yeah, you choose your battles. Instead of dwelling on the thing that causes you to be angry or riled up, mm -hmm. yeah, you choose not to. And then now, when you do that and you take yourself like mentally out of that state of mind, then you can see clearly to see how to handle the situation mm -hmm. and move on. And over time, you find your happiness within all of that. All right, true. Number four says, don't keep score. Mm -hmm. Even if you know you're, what is, winning? Winning. Even if you know you're winning. Yeah. <laughs> and go ahead. Go um, the, the, it's funny that you laugh because I remember as you, something as you laugh. It's true. Even say, for instance, you know, you're in an argument, and I don't call it argument. This uh, This things, disagreement, and you may find that okay, you you know you have all the facts that okay, you are right and. Mm -hmm that person is wrong or whatever and then the person said where did I go wrong can you tell me and then you can you you have been keeping scores to the sense that you can say okay on June 5th this is what happened and you say that but you didn't I, hold it so I don't think nobody can forget stuff that happened especially in a relationship right however it must not be used as a weapon notwithstanding though like straight up when me and Michelle have this argument she I mean we tend to say, when did I do that? And honestly, I can remember when, when it happened. Not we necessarily the date. Most time. Not necessarily the date. Scores. I cannot. Michelle, you, you remember some stuff. It will you? come back to my but I, I cannot remember everything. No, really. no, but, but you remember. But you can, though. You, you, I don't remember the date. But I don't I, know but, if it's a gift or what, but you can. I, let me tell you what you. I, and I, I, don't, I don't even need to justify but yeah. in my mind, it's when something happens significant, it doesn't leave my mind. I don't have it up, I don't um, carry it on, you know, because a, a, a quotation I heard well, from a teacher I listened to that says, one of the things that causes disease is, is un, undealt yes. with issues. Okay. Undealt with issues, meaning you have issues and you don't talk about it. It brings disease, which brings disease, or disease and disease, basically the same thing. Right, and so sometimes you, you get you get ill, and doctor can't find a complaint because the complaint has nothing to do with in the physical. It's, it's in the mind, it's in the mind, behavior. it's in the spirit, it's in the body. <laughs> you understand me? So I I don't I don't keep up things in me. I I, I rather talk it out and, and 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 get it over with. Yeah. That way, that way, it won't be a matter of keeping scores, but some stuff just need to be be, be reminded about. So that you don't go back and do the same thing again. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. but, take but, the high but road. It's good to take the high road. But keeping time. score to say you're winning is like a pity song. Mm. Play pity thing. And and I, people's emotion you can't play with that. And that is true. And it, it may sound funny, but it is true. It's bearing records and I heard a council, I think it was Brother John, um, John Mark wife that came to a Agape meeting years ago. And she did say that that um, you I think remember if the brother Johnny said like would tell her that um, within within a marriage love is not keeping is not keeping record mm. I keeping score so he was saying some people some people find it convenient when the scores are being kept against them to say that not to keep score or what have you but it's a really it's, it's really the relative situation because no good can really come of it i just say some things must cannot should not just be swept away or forgotten should be forgiven but no no you don't want to forgive this is a must you know to a girl talk about that i'm saying keeping score in terms of trying to say you're the upper and it should not be yeah. the case but if That's you but if but if things happen and it is significant for you to remember and to remind each other of what happened, I don't see that as keeping score, I see that as you know, helping each other to remember what needs not to happen again. Love bear no records. <laughs> see? 
Right. Oh my lord, I don't Number see. five, make each other your first priority. That's yeah. the whole point of marriage. I, I stand in agreement. Um, most of the time, and, 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 and I wish I was really filthy rich, because if I was filthy rich, I could do more than I want to, and I still, I, I still think I would not be spending a lot of money on myself. Yeah. I'll still focus on, 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 on Michelle and the kids. Yeah, because I, 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 I don't believe in having a bag. I can have probably like, you know, five, five or six shirts and four pants. I'm good. I don't need to go to further. That's true, but it's not all about money, too, it. especially for those who have wealth and all of that. It's about being there for her or being there for him. No, I just use that one example still. If you said, no, that you know, is true. I'm not referring in terms of priority. I'm not refuting, mm-hmm. but you do have persons who honestly believe that you know the money, and she know that. But yeah, you don't have the money, but most of the time she wants the man attention. Mm-hmm. So it's to be there. You understand? And by being there, it's by listen, truly listen. Mm-hmm. When you know she is trying to communicate, communicate something. Be interested enough to give you undivided <clears throat> attention. You speak on the basis of the other woman. What, what would you say for, um, that the woman need to do for the man? What I think the woman need to do for the man is as to be supportive. To first of all, priority is to be there as well mm-hmm. and to be supportive and to share his interest. Because for too long you have um, both ways. You have where a lady will say, somebody will say. Oh, you are not, where are you? How is your husband? And in there, eh? what is it? I don't know, you know, you know, like mm-hmm. she really don't know what he is into and those things. And he may very well just always be hanging out with his friends because they have likewise interest. But I would say you should also share his interest, mm-hmm. you understand, and should also listen to, mm-hmm. you know, and. I would say to be understanding because I think men crave crave understanding from women. Why women crave uh, what would you say? No time. True, true. You understand? So yeah. And and if and if and if if I see if I make her Michelle a priority and she makes me the prior her priority, then who is prioritized? Both of us. Both persons. So it's a win win situation. Yeah, it is. Um, number six says, um, hug what is that? the daylights out of each other. <laughs> um, every every chance you get, um, okay. Please. Always be a always be a hug. Always did happen, right? Um, yeah, we do that daily. Yeah, yeah. and it may well, sound we did, simple. We do daily be, when I'm when leave, I come the home. Leave the party and coming back. Yeah, but and in between, not as much in between. In between. And um, because, but the truth is, it may seem out, played out still. Yeah. yeah. But the truth is, don't people may overlook it and say it's simple. But I see a hug to be something that you're saying, lean on me. You understand? Rest on me because I I think that's what I'm both party need. A woman need somebody to lean on, and most of the time is their partner. But they deflect it to other things, you know, and other people. Mm-hmm. But it's really they want to lean on their man. You understand? And the man want the woman too, too. And most of the time, when the woman choose not to lean on the man and maybe lean on others and what have you, that kind of take away also from him mm-hmm. as well. Because when you lean, when you lean on somebody, they provide you with something. You understand? I I I'm a hugger for one. Um, yeah. Even even persons who are just well, not say just beat, but persons who I'm familiar with, I I am a hugger. Although I I I kind of restrict myself a little bit more now. Not just for COVID, not just for COVID, COVID purpose, purpose, but purpose. generally speaking. Um, but I'm a hugger, and I I hugs hugs do a lot. It mm-hmm. it, it it brings it warmth. It yeah, you know, and it reminds that hey, somebody cares or. I that's your home. Yeah, and, and, and of course, I, I like to hug her from behind because, you know, the feeling is, is, is real. I love to hug you from the front. From, from the front. I Why love. do I love to hug you from the front? Yes, you know. Why? Same way. Yes, ma'am. 
but mostly for your chest. I for feel, the chest. yeah, I feel like I'm at oh, home. Oh, lower below. Me no, me, yeah, but uh, not necessarily. Uh, but it really, it it just do you not know, even when I'm sleep when I when when I'm, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm in bed like that's what I, I was know you like. Um, yeah, um, even when you're standing up, whenever you stand up many yeah. times, and I will hug you and I say, "Oh, I feel like I can sleep right here," Every because time, that, she because it put me. No matter how I cannot sleep, I just need to just lay down on his chest, and I, I don't know when I'm out. Even when he said you're sleeping, I'm said no, me have a door. So number seven, lean on each other in times of need. Nothing in the world is more comforting oh. than being wrapped in each other's arms that needs you know things self respect that's right? home that is a personal we just home. we just spoke home. about it in, in the hug and the and the lean in, and the lean in in but i think also we lean on each other sometimes yeah you know as a as a man you may have a decision to make um it's yeah. good even if even if your wife is not an expert in the era, you can still say to her, you know, what do you think about so and so and so? And ninety percent of the time, good, good ideas come from come from come from your, your spouse. Yeah. Um, and, and 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 that's why it's always important that you leave a leave an open door for for your spouse to come and relate or say something or get your opinion, right? Because that is also leading on. You understand me? Yeah. But that, although this is specific speaking about arms and hugging, but I just put it into a different context. Yeah. About, because you know, they're leading. all complementing each other. Because the truth is, I agree with that. Because in order for all of that to happen, the person, each individual, have to be thoughtful. Mm -hmm. You have to think of each other. When you think of each other, certain things become natural. Yeah. Because by thinking of each other, you you. you over time you know what each other needs are and then these things are what are needed even mm -hmm. for a healthy you know state of mind mm -hmm. you understand and be each other's home yeah. you understand the house is not necessarily your home it house you but the home is the heart of each other yeah home is where the heart is where the heart really is so so if the heart the mobile is you know you're not at home because it's exactly. not where you are and also, if you make a phone call, you're home because the heart connects you yeah. to, to, the to the person. Number eight, learn to say I'm sorry. Oh Lord, that comes and in really mean it. Yeah. Then, then <laughs> be willing to forgive. You follow me before I go, Lord. Even <laughs> when you are right. So let me say that again. Hallelujah. Learn to say I'm sorry mm -hmm. and really mean it. Then be willing to forgive yeah. even when you're right. Now, yeah. the, for me, I, I, I'm big on forgiveness in terms of me forgiving. And yeah, it's being, being reciprocated. But I just, I, I don't believe in spending and wasting time on, on, on forgiveness. It's bitter. It's not healthy for you mentally. Um, so I'm, I, I don't have a problem with forgiving. I just don't want, I just don't want a constant repetition of the same thing which okay. you know sorry was said over. And I think it's generally speaking for both male and female. For example, if I make a mistake and Michelle said to me say and I said to her sorry, I don't think she expect me to go and do it again next week and another week and another week and you know what I mean? Yeah. But but yeah, you have to you have to we have, we both have to learn to say I'm sorry and mean it. Um, and mean it don't mean you have to come with tears, but it mean it mean it, it, genuine. It, it's genuine. And trust me, if you're with somebody for one year, two years, even a couple months, when somebody says sorry, you can feel it, and it, you can feel it from when I'm genuine, from when I'm not. You know, as you say that, um, maybe because I watch a lot of American idols, I love mm -hmm. to hear genuine sing. People can really sing, and the song that seems to come in mostly every audition or every season is "Sorry" seems to be the hardest word. Okay. But the truth is, without genuine um, apology. apology and being sorrowful for our mistakes, a relationship cannot progress. Yeah. It's true. So. It's true. And while I'm not no preacher and that, because as Connie said me in every every time, you know, and I don't want to be labored every time or no, that because be I'm be, I'm growing. Um, I'm the person who. Don't say sorry till it has to be genuine. 
understand? I think I think sorry in in its in its entire it has to be genuine. It has to Some be. persons have a have a take a more takes more time to get to that genuine part or yeah. um, for them to assess within themselves if them if them rather are them right. But I think when the light when it hits you and you realize oops Oh, yeah, even something that I, I tell it lightly, to be honest, you know, it, it, yeah. has, it, it comes out genuine more when you actually see yourself and see what's said. Yeah, you actually did something wrong. Number nine, um, promise to be, promise to love each other, yeah. even on the days you really don't like each other. Let me say that again. Promise to love each other, even on the days you really don't like each other. And those they really don't like each other. Um, I think, like, you know, the moment you know, this argument are going, um, especially if it, it is no, it is not, un, it is unresolved mm-hmm. within the day. You probably, honestly, like, for example, if, if me and Michelle this argument and she go on, she, like she, like she don't say sorry, but she wants, but she come to carry on life as usual. Or she'll come and she says something to me. I say, I'm not really in the mood to talk now because yeah. at that point, me not really like her right now. But it doesn't take away my love, and I don't really think I don't like she. I don't like this. How I feel, I don't feel right. I don't. It just. I don't feel myself. So I don't want to go be here. You don't necessarily something. want intimacy, and intimacy don't always yeah, don't mean, mean sexual sex. activity. But the truth is, in life, in a sense, life still carry on because if you were cooking for me, I mm-hmm. promise to cook for me before mm-hmm. all of this. You st- he still proceed in doing it mm-hmm. and um, if I get my food I'm still going to eat it because and for me I look on those things to mean true love because it, in spite of the fact that you're not pleased with each other right now and you're not liking each other right now you don't stop catering for each other's you needs yeah, yeah you don't you stop do catering right you may withhold your Personal affection up in the face, being together like it's I not, said. If it's not, if it's not normal, don't act like it's, yeah, it is. Yeah, because it's not, it's not helpful either. No. It, you know, if you are remorse, if, if if there need to be remorse about something, and you continue to pretend and act this way, before time you will not get true genuine remorse. So, so you find out that love, love. Is bigger than like one, and, like. and love supersedes even even your perception mm-hmm. of, of things are 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 the mood that you're uh, in. Yeah. Love still supersedes. Yeah. That. That's why it's, it's the same that we should promise up. each other, promise to love each other, even on the days when we like each other. And people who really love each other, I think you do because um, there are times when we have disagreement, and I'm washing your clothes. And not because I'm upset with you, the white still have look white. Your white shirts still have look white. Yeah. And I find myself that even when I'm hanging out your clothes and say I have a disagreement with you, I mean, mean like serious disagreement, and you you know your colognes, it don't really come off your clothes because they're... Yeah, get a good one. They're good colognes. And I find myself just still holding the shirt and... <laughs> you know You know, because... Yeah, I'm upset with you, but that doesn't stop the way I feel genuinely you about know. you. My heart don't stop loving you, you know. Yeah. So, so ten and final. Forever, always, and no matter what. Okay. Oh. Well, right. So it's forever, always, and no matter what. Promise. Um. um no matter what. Vow to yeah. keep your vows. Yeah. I think. I think. Um. That comes on a challenge many times, if especially if it's a real bad disagreement, um, and, and it doesn't just go for the for the person who are, who are not followers of Christ. That the enemy can come in and try to even further the real as your life, and then know God forbid if you follow or you feel or the anger within or the temptation that comes across, you end up doing something that dishonors your vows or break the vow, and then it's a whole a level. Of fixing and, and whatever, so yeah, um, about yeah, to, about I think that is true, and it, it, it's easier for some people than some because no matter how upset I am with you, I'm never tempted to. You understand? I tend 
for me, I tend to think about you more when I'm out of your presence and I'm upset with you. It happened. I, I, I don't know. It happened. It happened a lot. And I tend to like look into myself and say, like, what did I really do so bad? Or, you know, I wonder if he's eating. I wonder if he's... yeah. It it depends on the individual mm -hmm. somewhat. It depends because. Well, I think all the only thing I would change in my vows, I I believe strongly that life and death is in the party tongue and what you speak you get the better for words yes i would i would know not include better yeah no the word word words be better for, for words and sentences. i mean in sickness and health i understand it but I, I certain words i would i would i would yeah. i would rewrite my vote I, I, in the sense that i i think i kind of agree with that because you kind of i agree I agree to it in some instance because for, for me how I receive it to be for better for worse I'm not thinking that okay um, you do the worst things and you don't care and I'm st no I'm thinking like okay I know you I married you tall dark and handsome strong and healthy and able God forbid you should get into an accident God forbid you should be paralyzed that is worse than how I receive you and I'm not going to step away from you you understand? I'm not going to stop loving you. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, that is good. But if it's a thing wherein you weren't a man beater, you become a man beater, or you become a womanizer, and for the woman now, say she become the B word, and she couldn't care less about nobody but herself. Come on now. Yeah. But, so, but, but vows are vows are, are serious. Are serious. I still hold my so yeah. And yes, it is it, you should we should do our best to uphold, to, to, to uphold the vows. But as we said, if I, I I would have, I would have rewrite my rewrite certain Sorry. aspect of my vows. Because I honestly believe that the, the word the word you speak is it is life. That's right. true, but I still because I didn't get to do that, I internalize it. Yeah, I mean, we 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 have to put the the yeah. the, 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 the thought and the uh, well, for lack of a better word, the spin on it. Yeah. That 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 in turn says we understand what we what we meant when we mean say or meant when we say it. So, the last quotation says, "Marriage is a blessing to be cherished forever, protected with all your heart." Yeah. Um, it's, it's one of those institutions where, from a scripture standpoint that God created and it's a beautiful thing um, to have your own person that you go home to every night and when it's cold you warm up to and it's hot you put a fan between when you hear, <laughs> you understand me you, you know it, it, it's quenched it's, and ugh, it's yeah, nice it's nice so freedom and the, but you know, if you make okay sorry Go on. <laughs> you know what I learned the other day um, I think a lot of person put the marrying the the ring on the the left what would you say now the left the left hand and on the what, which thing would you start coming from on the finger. yeah a married finger and not knowing the reason why I don't know what the reason for and you help me understand and then I get my other research is that this finger mm -hmm. it um the blood flows mm -hmm. from your heart the vein for that blood it runs directly to the heart okay so like for instance if this finger you know say so your blood I was that called the finger get tight from my heart blood that less blood that, that in the, less blood is that okay. going to your heart but it connects directly just mm -hmm. like how you know like your big toe it the the blood pump and it, it connects to another part of the body that it's in unison because mm -hmm. the whole body work within unison so this finger now actually the blood flows directly from the heart okay i would have been said, wow cool okay did you know that you know yeah so guys yeah so another we just we just address this because we want to encourage basically mm -hmm. to encourage basically to encourage and of course if you know somebody who have you have you watching the video now you have see you have um heard the entire thing and if you know somebody who needs to hear this because oftentimes there are persons who are going through, going through yeah. challenges in their relationships and it's important that even if you don't have what to say if you can find it to send it to them here's one you can send it
if you're here again for the first time please consider like share and subscribe um tell a friend to tell a friend and um we just want to say thank you guys for the support thank you so much for the support and um if we <coughs> the videos encourage you it will encourage somebody else so share share and continue sharing all right so until our next live until our next upload we're saying thank you god bless see you on the other side